Hello friends, I am speaking from inside the TV screen. The system which has taken me inside the TV screen is this camera. It is also known as an electronics eye. To understand the working principle of this camera, first we must study the color behavior of the human eye. Human eye can sense the various colors available in the daylight. I have brought a prism. If we put the sunlight on it, the sunlight is converted into the color spectrum. Let us see in this figure. The visible region has the seven colors purple, blue, cyan, green, yellow, orange, and red. There are two kinds of light that reaches to our eyes. The one is reflected light and the second one is the emitted light. In case of the reflected light, the light reflected from the surface of the object being seen reaches to our eyes and these objects do not emit light themselves. But in case of emitted light, the light is emitted from the surface of the object and the examples are bulb, the TV screen and the billboard etc. In case of reflected light, when the light intensity decreases, the color disappears and it is followed by gray shade. Here in this setup of the speed television screen, the picture of television camera is being shown to you through the reflected light, while the picture of child is through the light emitting object monitor. If the intensity of light is decreased, the picture from the reflected light disappear, but there is no effect on the emitted light object. If the intensity of light increased, the reflected light picture reappears. Light is an electromagnetic wave. The human eye is capable of seeing the wavelength ranging from 380 nanometer to 780 nanometer, while 1 nanometer is equal to 10 to power minus 9 meter. The difference in wavelength is that causes color. The light with the longer wavelength is seen as red. The light with the shorter wavelength is seen as blue. The human eye sees these colors gradually and there is no sudden demarcation of the color line. The light which we see normally consists of the electromagnetic waves of many different wavelengths. Our eye can see some color better than the others. Of the three primary colors, red, green, blue, our eye can see green as better. Here in this figure of the color sensitivity of the human eye chart, the sensitivity of the human eye is maximum for the 500 nanometer to 600 nanometer and this is the region of green color. Therefore, human eye is more sensitive for the green color. If we accept the sensitivity of the white light as 100 percent, in that case the sensitivity of the human eye is 59 percent in case of green, 30 percent in case of red and 11 percent in case of blue. We can write a equation also. The luminance y is equal to 0 0.30 red plus 0 0.59 g 
plus 0 0.11 blue. If the intensity of the light is changed from the given parameter, we get some different color. It is to be noted that this is question is for color light only, not for the color and pigment. Here in this figure, we have taken three color lights, the red, the green and the blue. Their corresponding projections are this is for red, this is for green and this is for blue and the mixing of all the colors gives white only when the ratio is 59 percent for green, 30 percent for red and 11 percent for blue. You can see in the graphic also for the equation luminance y is equal to 0 0.30 r plus 0.59 g plus 0 0.11 b. If the ratio is changed, this white will not be a white, will get some different color. For example, we are changing here the intensity of blue light and see white is no more white. In the similar way, we can change other colors for green and for red also. With the help of these three primary colors of red, green and blue, one can produce any other colors by color addition that is used in color TV technology. Let us go and see in this figure that how the other colors are produced. Here in this figure for the color addition process, if we mix red with the blue, we get magenta. If we mix blue with the green, we get cyan. And the similar way, if we mix red with the green, we get yellow. The proportionate mixture of red, green and blue, we get white. To get some other colors, the proportionate ratio must be changed. So far, we have studied the color reproduction. Now, let us discuss the color characteristics of the light. The light has three properties, hue, saturation and the brightness. Let us see in this diagram to explain hue, saturation and brightness one by one. Here in this figure, this axis which extends from black to white represents brightness, while the amplitude represents saturation and change in wavelength represents hue. Let us understand the hue characteristic of the light in this diagram. If the wavelength changes, we get change in color and each color has its own specific wavelength, means for every and each color there is a different wavelength. And the saturation can be defined as the amplitude of the vectors, which is explained in the next diagram. Saturation expresses the degree to which the certain colors include white. Thus, a pure color has saturation of 100 percent. A color that is completely saturated contains no white at all. Here in this figure, the vector amplitude increases and the colors become from lighter to dark, means this is the darkest portion of the color has no brightness at all. Brightness means the luminance of the light reaching the human eye. A color with a high energy looks bright, but the same color with the little energy looks dark. When the amount of energy is reduced, in case of red light for instance, the color gets darker. The see here in this figure, here the brightness increases and corresponding to this brightness, this is the color. 
if the brightness decreases, the color becomes darker. The same red color has become dark here. Friends, till now we have studied the visible color spectrum ranging from 380 nanometer to 780 nanometer and also the color characteristic of the human eye. We found that the human eye is more sensitive for the green color. We have studied the light characteristic for hue, saturation and brightness and also the color addition of the primary color red, green and blue. Now we will utilize all these parameters in the study of our video camera.